So we're here at uh, Precise Biometrics headquarters in Lund, Sweden, and with us uh, is the CEO of Precise Biometrics, Håkan Persson. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. The market for fingerprint technology and mobile devices has really boomed lately. What kind of development do you see in the immediate future? Well, as, as you say, it has boomed, and the reason why is that now fingerprint technology is more or less in everybody's hand through the mobile device. And um, what we see is that that is progressing. More types of devices also in the low-cost segments are getting fingerprint technology. We see the advent of new areas entering into fingerprint technology, like smart cars and so forth. And uh, so this is a continued de development and also other types of devices will receive fingerprint, te fingerprint technology in the rather near future, I would say. What would you say is driving this strong market growth? Well, as I said, the, the most important thing is that people have got, gotten accustomed to utilizing fingerprint technology. Then there has been technological developments, the cost has come down, which has enabled the implementation in, in, in even more cheaper devices, which spreads this to, through the segments of, uh, of mobile devices, and for that matter also into other devices. We already now see some card implementations in the marketplace, like for instance Elon Microelectronics implementing a card, or launching rather, a card for a South Korean bank and their premium customers. We see a number of different types of pilot projects going on and we are in several of these together with our customers. On occasion you've made a point of the fact that payment providers can reduce fraud through biometrics. How well, do you mean there? Yeah, well they see this as an opportunity. I mean uh, the whole card industry or the payment industry as such is prone to fraud and utilizing biometrics can help reduce fraud. And in that process, obviously, there, is a, there will be an increased demand on the fingerprint technology, technology itself in order to increase the security levels and, and um, hence spoof, anti-spoof measures and liveness detection will be important. That is that you can, so to say, see if there is a fake finger on the sensor or if it's a real finger. And, and uh, just that situation is why we also bought uh, NextID Biometrics in order to be able to, in, to enhance our offering also with anti-spoof and liveness in order to increase the security of uh, fingerprint authentication. So far you've managed to maintain price, precise biometrics leadership in the market but the competition will of course increase. So what will you do, you and your company, to maintain your leadership? Well, the most important aspect, I think, is to really to, to see to that we have the best biometric performance in the industry, bringing true and good user experience and security to our customers. And, uh, and, and that is where we put a lot of effort at this point. Obviously, the other thing is to be able to support our customers in their local work with the mobile smart car providers and, and mobile smartphone providers and any other providers in helping them qualify to be implemented in devices. So this is, these two areas have the best biometric performance, putting R&D resources after that, both with respect to smaller sensors but also advanced use cases like wet fingers and scarred fingers and other anomalies that, that exists, but also to be able to help our customers through the qualification processes. That is what will, so to say, make us successful and our customers successful. In conclusion, may I ask what you're looking mostly forward to for the coming period? What will be most fun at work when you're looking into the future, say for a year ahead? To see, us, to see our customers' success, that they get qualified and that they get a fair share of the market. And that will help us and help us, us together to reach the goals and objectives that we have. Mr. Persson, thank you very much. Thank you.